the African Union summit, Robert Mugabe has been the great unmentionable. Official pictures from Egyptian television haven't even shown him. But I found him on his way to the conference chamber, and the result was an extraordinary encounter. Sir, Julian Mannion of ITN. Yeah, I don't know if you remember me, sir. Um, what, uh, how do you feel being here, Mr. Mugabe? Could I, may I just ask you one question, sir? On what basis do you now regard yourself as president of Zimbabwe? On the same basis as Mr. Brown regards himself as Prime Minister of Zimbabwe. Of so, sir. Precisely on that basis. So, but, sir, you don't want your security man here to beat me up in front of you, I'm sure. Yeah, but don't ask stupid questions. Okay, but then, sir, but, but say what you would like to say, sir. I... Please, 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 please. <laughs> but we are not a British, we are not a British colony. Come on, you must know that. Tell him again, right. tell him again. So we are not a British colony. Tell him again. <laughs> At that point, I was wrestled away by Zimbabwean and Egyptian security men. But the man who still calls himself President of Zimbabwe had plenty more that he wanted to say. What was the British to do with Zimbabwe? Who are you? You bloody idiots! Earlier, African Union speakers had avoided virtually all mention of Robert Mugabe's bloodstained election. If this summit is to play a part in resolving the crisis in Zimbabwe, the president of South Africa, Thabo Mbeki, should play a key role. But he showed little sign of wanting to do so. May we just ask you, sir, for your comment on the presence of Robert Mugabe here? No, you may not. Uh, do you not have anything to say about what's happening? No, nothing. The hope that some here are nourishing is that behind the scenes, the African Union will promote a power-sharing compromise between Mugabe and the Zimbabwe opposition. But the question is whether Robert Mugabe is really willing to listen.